Hello friends, this video statistics part 21 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 20. The formula for standard deviation. Standard deviation is 1 by n, 1 by n is outside, root of n into sigma fi xi square minus sigma fi xi whole square. To prove this, to prove this, let's take the variance formula we know. The variance is nothing but 1 by n summation fi into xi minus mean square. This formula we know. Correct? You can write this formula also as nothing but 1 by n sigma. This is nothing but a minus b square. So we can write this as nothing but a square plus b square minus 2ab this we can write correct the same thing we can write as I write here will be 1 by n summation fi xi square plus 1 by n summation summation fi into x mean square minus 1 by n into summation fi into 2 into xi into mean square correct this we can get now we know that these values are constant this is constant this is constant mean is constant so we can take mean outside so if you see summation of 2x that is equal to 2 into summation of x same thing this as 1 by n sigma fi xi square plus summation will take outside mean square into mean square into fi summation by n correct minus or this n is here also which means you can just common minus here also 1 by n or 2 by 2 this I will take outside because con constant f i x i correct now we know that sigma f i is nothing but n and sigma f i x i by n is nothing but mean these two things we know. Correct. So this sigma fi will mark it as n. And this sigma fi xi by n mark it as mean. So what we will get is 1 by n into sigma fi xi square plus mean square by n into this becomes mean because sigma fi is n, n minus 2 mean into sigma fi xi by n i can write as mean into mean correct this and this is cancel this is square actually so what i get here is 1 by n into sigma fi xi square minus this is mean square minus 2 mean square this is minus mean square correct now mean we know is nothing but sigma fi xi by n so, I can write this as 1 by n sigma fi xi square minus 1 by n sigma fi xi whole square or I will make 1 by n square and I will write this as square. Correct. So, what I will get? I will get 1 by n common into or I will take 1 by n square common actually. This becomes 1 by n square into n is 1 by n n sigma fi xi square minus sigma fi xi square this i get this is nothing but variance to find standard deviation we'll just take a square root of this so i'll do it right here so this becomes root of 1 by n square into n sigma fi xi square minus 
sigma f i x i whole square. Correct? The whole thing root. 1 by n square I can take out. This becomes 1 by n into root of n into sigma f i x i square minus sigma f i x i whole square. This is whole square actually. This is whole square. Sigma f x i whole square. And that is what we have. That standard deviation is nothing but 1 by n into root of n into sigma f i x i square minus sigma f i x i whole square. Now we will take one example using this formula. We will try to find the variance and standard deviation. Here we have to calculate the variance and standard deviation. Let's use the shortcut method which we have used now, which we have derived now. We have to calculate f i, we have to calculate x i square because we have to calculate f i into x i first and also f i into x Correct? These values we have to calculate. So let's try this value. x i is 8, 30, 18 and 23. And frequency is 7, 15, 10 and 6. So we have x i is as 3, 8, 13, 18 and 23 and f i is 7, 10, 15, 10 and 6. Now we'll find x i square because we have to find f i x i square. So let's find x i square. 3 square is 9, 8 square is 64, 13 square is 169, 18 square is 324 and 23 square is 529. This we have. Now we'll find f i x i. We'll multiply these two, first two parts. 7 into 3 is 21, 8 into 10 is 80, 13 into 15 is 195, 18 into 10 is 180 and 23 into 6 is nothing but 138. Now I'll find f i x i square because we'll multiply this to star mark f i x i square. 7 into 9 is 63, 8, 80 into sorry 64 into 10 is 640, this guy is great. 15 into 169 is 2535. 10 into 324 is 3240 and 6 into 529 is nothing but 317. This value we have. The formula says that variance is nothing but or we have the standard division formula is nothing but 1 by n into root of n sigma fi x i square minus sigma f i x i whole square. Correct? This is the formula. Now the value of n is, we'll add all frequencies to get n. 8 plus 3, 11. 3, 14. 14 plus 8 is 22. Plus 3 is 25. So this is 5. Okay, we have to add f i's to get n. We'll add these values. 7, 17. 17 plus 5 is 32. 42, 48. 48 n is equal to 48. Correct? Sigma f i x i square is this value. We will add this value. So what we will get is 9654. If you add this value, you will get 9654. Similarly, for f i x i you add this value 8, 5, 13, 14, 1, 4, 1 carry. 1 plus 2, 3, plus 8, 11, 20, 28, 31, 3 carry. 3 plus 3, 6. 650. We have this value, we have this value. Now I'll just put everything in formula. 1 by n, n is 48. Root of n is 48 into sigma f i x i square is this value. That is 9654 minus sigma f i x i whole square that is 614 whole square. Correct? So this comes out to be 1 by 40. 8 into root of this is 463296 minus 614 square is nothing but 376996 and this value is nothing but 1 by 48 into root of this value is something 293.77 exactly so this comes out to be 6.12 just a calculation 
and that is the answer. So the variance is standard deviation is six one two, and the variance is nothing but six one two square. That is something around thirty seven. That's the answer. What we have done since we are using the formula. So in this formula we need summation of f i x i square and summation of f i x i. So we got f i x i, we got f i x i square, we got the summation, and then we use the formula to get the answer. Now let's discuss shortcut method to find variance as standard deviation. So if this uh, is in this form, x one, x two, x two, x three, that is the continuous form, and is the frequency, then by using step deviation method, we can simplify the procedure. So in that case, the variance, uh, the standard deviation will come out to be. H by n into n into sigma f i by i square into summation of f i by i square whole square, where y i is nothing but x i minus a by h, where a is nothing but assume mean, assume mean. H is nothing but class interval. Take one example. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.